First, start off by rolling down the window. Next, grab the cleaning wipe, open and clean the areas in which the visor will be applied. Be sure the area is dry before proceeding to the next step. Now we're ready to attach the clips to the window frame. First, hold up the visor to the door frame to get an idea of where to install the clip. When installing the clip, make sure the surface with the hole is facing out and that the clip is curved outward as well. Repeat these steps for the second clip. Now, peel back about 2 inches of each side of the adhesive strip. For this application, you will first attach the front edge of the visor to the side view mirror panel. This step is important. Be sure when installing this end clip that it wedges just behind the side view mirror. Now, line up the edge of the visor with the edge of the door frame. We will apply pressure to the adhesive strip while slowly peeling back the red tape. Be sure to take your time with this step. Gently pull a little tape at a time while applying pressure to the area of the visor where the tape has been removed. Always grab the tape as close to the visor as possible to avoid tearing the tape. Once you have removed all the strips of tape, run your fingers around the edge to ensure a tight seal. Now we are ready to install the included locking pins. Start off by adjusting the clip so the holes of the visor and the clip are lined up. We will then grab the circular piece and the center pin. Place the circular piece on the back side of the clip and put the center pin through the hole on top of the visor. Then grab the locking pin and push it through the center to lock everything in place. Now repeat the steps for the second pin Repeat the same procedures for the rear visor. After you have installed all of the locking pins, follow the same procedures to install the visors on the other side of the vehicle. 